As we birth 2016, the fourth year of the new earth, the beams of light in the realms of illumined truth are sending forth a clarion call beseeching you and me and every awakening man, woman, and child to live, move, and breathe within the profound truth of oneness and reverence for ALL life. We are being called to demonstrate this truth with every thought, feeling, word, action, belief, and memory we express. This is the reality which we have been preparing for lifetimes to co-create. We already have all of the skill, wisdom, strength, courage, and ability we need to accomplish this holy endeavor. All we need now is the willingness and the heart commitment to do so. Fortunately, the floodgates of heaven have opened during the past three years and in addition to the divine momentum blazing in our hearts, we now have more support from our Father Mother God and the company of heaven than ever before in the history of time. This divine intervention is empowering every single one of us in miraculous ways. According to the company of heaven, as we read the words and watched the video associated with the activity of light I am sharing with you today, our I am presence will activate the divine potential that was pre-encoded within our DNA prior to this embodiment. The divine intent of this activation is to empower each of us to help raise the consciousness of our recalcitrant sisters and brothers in the family of humanity. Through this activity of light, we will actually love ALL life free. The urgency of the hour is obvious. All we have to do is watch the news to see the desperate attempts being made to exacerbate fear and to wreak havoc amongst humanity through the obsolete consciousness of separation and duality. As the light increases on earth and everything that conflicts with the light is pushed to the surface, this chaos seems to be increasing in every segment of society. This hateful behavior is the antithesis of the patterns of oneness and reverence for ALL life that we all know how to co-create, and it conflicts with every facet of the divine plan for this planet. Oneness and reverence for ALL life is the manifestation of Christ consciousness through which our Father Mother God's transfiguring divine love will transform the earth and all life evolving upon her. Please read the following words and watch this video with an open heart and mind. Your I Am Presence has drawn this information into your sphere of awareness because your light is needed now, and you have volunteered to be the open door that no one can shut in 2016. We experience the shift of the ages and Earth's birth into the fifth dimensional frequencies of the new Earth on December 21st and 22nd in 2012. During that cosmic moment, the Earth reclaimed her rightful place in our solar system. Now it is time for the next phase of the Divine Plan. Many people were expecting that the patterns of the new earth would instantly manifest with our ascension into the fifth dimension, but that is not the way this process works. With the birth of the new earth the patterns of perfection did instantaneously flood into the mental and emotional strata of earth. But the universal law is that in order for something to physically manifest on earth it must be drawn through the divinity pulsating within the hearts of people embodied on earth. This is what is meant by the statement, God needs a body. In order for the patterns of perfection for the new earth to manifest in the physical plane, we must first tackle the cause of the maladies existing on earth. Unfortunately, most people are focused on trying to change outer appearances which are the effect of the problem not the cause of the problem. When we deal with just the outer appearance of a situation instead of what is causing the problem, it is like trying to change the reflection in a mirror without changing the object that is causing the reflection. This is a futile effort and we will fail every time. Outer appearances will only change if we address what is causing the problem in the first place. So what is the cause of the unbearable pain humanity has been experiencing for so very long? The cause of ALL of the maladies existing on earth is humanity's distorted and fragmented consciousness based in separation and duality. This consciousness is the antithesis of Christ consciousness. It is the opposite of the patterns of oneness, divine love, and reverence for life that are encoded within the patterns of perfection for the new earth. When every person on earth has completed his or her awakening to Christ consciousness, we will all know that it is impossible to harm any part of life without harming ourselves in every other facet of life. With that realization, we will consciously and deliberately operate from the heart space of oneness and love. We will open our hearts and minds to the patterns of perfection for the new earth, and we will find viable, win-win solutions for every situation or challenge.
we will clearly know that anything we do to enhance life for any person or any living thing will enhance life for ourselves and our loved ones. Just imagine, when everyone is operating from a consciousness of oneness and love none of the problems we are presently experiencing will exist. We will have shifted the cause of those maladies and the outer world effects will naturally change. Obviously, the most important thing we can do at this time is to assist our precious sisters and brothers in the family of humanity to raise their consciousness from separation to oneness. Then they will know they are one with ALL life and they will live their lives from that profound truth. Together we can do this. And when we succeed God victoriously in helping to lift the most recalcitrant souls out of the illusion of separation and into Christ consciousness, we will experience the wonders of the new earth and the elation of heaven. The company of heaven has given us a visualization that will help us accomplish this wondrous facet of the divine plan. Please join me now as we bring this activity of light to the masses of humanity. Visualization Raising consciousness and loving all life free. I am my I am presence and I am one with the I am presence of every person on earth. As one breath, one heartbeat, one voice, and one energy, vibration, and consciousness of pure divine love we invoke our Father Mother God and the entire company of heaven to assist us in raising the consciousness of every person on earth in perfect alignment with his or her divine plan and the highest good for all concerned. Beloved Father Mother God, we ask that you expand your flame of transfiguring divine love which is pulsating within the divinity of every person's heart flame. Create from this sacred fire a heart of love. Allow this heart of love to expand and expand through each person's heart flame until it envelops the entire planet Earth. Pause. Now the legions of light from every ascended level of being project their love into the divine matrix of our Father Mother God, the cosmic I am, ALL that is. This matrix is the body of God within which every particle of life throughout the whole of creation lives, moves, breathes, and has its being. This unprecedented influx of divine love flows through our Father Mother God's divine matrix and floods the earth blessing every man, woman, and child. As this gift of love bathes the earth, every atomic and subatomic particle and wave of life on this planet is lifted into a higher order of being. Pause. The light of God now flows into the mental body, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, the superconscious mind, and the physical brain structure of every person on earth. This gift of light from our Father Mother God balances the right and left hemispheres of each person's brain, and activates their spiritual brain centers. Through this activity of light, each person's pituitary, pineal, and hypothalamus glands and the ganglionic centers at the base of their brain are restored to their full divine potential. Utilizing this powerful gift of light, each person's I am presence now recalibrates the circuitry within their physical brain structure enabling them to withstand a higher frequency of divine consciousness. This activity of light heals the fragmented circuitry that has prevented humanity from communing with their I am presence and the company of heaven. The I am presence within each person's heart flame now creates a sacred space that enables that person to open their fifth dimensional crown chakra of enlightenment to full breadth. This allows each one to communicate with their I Am Presence and with the company of heaven on a conscious level while reaching ever higher into Christ consciousness. As I hold the focus of my attention on the light of God that is flowing through every person's brain, I clearly see humanity's physical, etheric, mental, and emotional bodies being flooded with the resplendent light of God. This multidimensional, multifaceted, Free-flowing fifth-dimensional crystalline solar light expands into every cell of humanity's earthly bodies allowing the I Am Presence of each person to take full dominion of this experience. Now, all is in readiness. Through their I Am Presence, every person on earth will participate at both inner and outer levels in this activity of light, which will raise the consciousness of the masses and assist every recalcitrant soul to shift from a consciousness of separation to a consciousness of oneness and reverence for life. I am loving all life free. I continue to breathe rhythmically and deeply. The legions of light throughout infinity are with me now as I greet this sacred moment from within the peace of my I am presence. I am one with all life. I now realize that I am one with ALL humanity and together we are standing forth as the collective fifth dimensional solar I am presence on earth. 
I now reach up into the infinity of my own divine consciousness as I am lifted up, all of humanity is lifted up with me. In this frequency of divine consciousness, humanity's free will becomes one with God's will, and humanity's divine consciousness is reclaimed here on earth. Humanity's divine consciousness reveals the profound truth that we are one. This higher consciousness pulsates with divine love and reverence for ALL life. Within the embrace of divine consciousness, humanity experiences an endless ocean of light that flows from suns beyond suns beyond suns, and each person knows, I am that I am. I am the open door for this celestial ocean of light. I am the light of the world, and my time for higher service to life is at hand. Now, this cosmic ocean of light intensifies, flowing unimpeded through humanity's physical, etheric, mental, and emotional bodies. As each person assimilates this gift from on high, they release into the light all thoughts, feelings, words, actions, beliefs, and memories that are based in the consciousness of separation or duality. The I Am presence of each person now affirms, all that I am. All of the God perfection that flows into my crown chakra of enlightenment is manifesting through me now on the new earth. I am at peace on the new earth. I am resting in supreme God confidence. I am opening the fifth dimensional stargate of my heart. I am one with my Father Mother God and the powers of light throughout the universe. I am ready now to love ALL life free. Instantaneously, I see the truth of every person on earth. I see every recalcitrant soul as a precious child of God, no matter how far their behavior patterns or their life experiences may be from reflecting that truth. I perceive all of their human miscreations and their unbalanced energies as innocent primordial light entering my awareness now to be transmuted and love-free. I happily greet my wayward sisters and brothers in the family of humanity and all of their unbalanced energy the same as my Father Mother God would greet them. I greet them with love from within the embrace of peace, detachment, God confidence, and supreme authority. Within the invincible force field of God's infinite love I take these fallen souls into my being, and I hold them in my arms of light as I would an injured child. They cannot overwhelm me or control me in any way, nor do I need to fear them or shun them. I simply hold them and love them until they surrender to the love of God desiring on their own to rejoin the kingdom of heaven which is pulsating within the divinity of my heart. As these precious souls surrender to the light, their consciousness is raised and they begin to remember that they are beloved sons and daughters of God. With this sacred knowledge, they once again find their proper place in the universe. In perfect divine order, they are set free to live and co-create the patterns of love and oneness on the new earth. Now, this activity of light expands and expands, and I affirm to all life everywhere. Precious children of God come unto me and be raised up into the light and love of our Father Mother God. Repeat three times. As an instrument of God, I am accepting these precious souls and their unascended energies into my fifth dimensional solar heart flame, so I can love them free. I am in holy communion with my Father Mother God, and as my recalcitrant sisters and brothers enter my heart flame. They are also in holy communion with my Father Mother God. Now rather than feeling rejected and thus perpetuating their negative behavior, my sisters and brothers feel accepted and loved as the innate children of God they are. They voluntarily release themselves into the light, and they become one with all of the great force fields and momentums of divine light throughout the whole of creation. I rejoice that recalcitrant souls and unascended energy are finding their way home through me and I release myself into the peace of knowing. My I Am Presence is handling ALL imperfection perfectly. Repeat three times. Father Mother God, from your glorious heart I came into being, and into your loving heart one day hand my service here on earth as through shall return. I thank you for the privilege of having life and for my physical embodiment during this sacred time when divine love and the patterns of perfection for the new earth are being established on earth. In deep humility, I offer you the cup of my consciousness as a holy grail through which the light of creation will flow to fulfill the divine plan for planet Earth. Beloved Father Mother God from this moment forth, with every breath I take, empower me with the ability to radiate the love of my I Am Presence to all life evolving on this planet. And so it is.